二七岁过我哎，我的妈呀！What the fudge? Y'all, he does have an intense itching. What? Flower Bunny finds her attractive. Ignore Flower Bunny. Breaking news! This series isn't meant for all audiences. It's probably 18 plus, so viewer discretion is advised. Oh my god, she can't even hide this pregnancy anymore. The ladies are gonna be like, "What's you know so different about her?" So let's have her sit here and talk to Alexa and tell her that she's pregnant. Like, what could she do? You know, she has to at this point. She has something to tell her. Obviously, she's not gonna say she's pregnant with the Kruger's baby. Uh, that's confidential. She's probably gonna tell them like when the baby's born. Something. She's like, hey, good morning. Dag, dag. Alexa's like, oh, well, we're talking. Okay, hey. She's like, well, uh, I just don't want you to be shocked within the next bit, but I'm currently pregnant, and it's a surrogacy. Don't worry, don't worry. It's not that kind of pregnancy. No, I, I'm not in the mental space to have a baby right now. Come on. And she's like, yeah, girl, like you be smoking that stuff a little too much. She's like, look, I could, you know, not crave it. I mean, that's why I want to give you my stuff and put it in your inventory, and you take care of it for me. And Alexa's like, what if I use it? She's like, mm, yeah, if you did it, you did it. Like, I guess you know, you can we can share one in the future type thing, you know. So she's like, okay, okay. Yeah, she's like, it ain't a big deal. Relax. <laughs> And Alexa just nodding like, okay. Well, you know what? Congratulations. That's kind of a big deal. The fact that you'd help somebody. Like, is it somebody you know? She's like, not really. I'm just helping a client. You know, that wants this type of thing. And she's like, okay. Okay, you got this. She's like, absolutely, I got this. I got this. <laughs> and Alexa's like, you got you. You do. You do. I mean, I said it. <laughs> she's like, all right. Well, I'm scared about just my body changing. I'm not used to. Feeling like I want to have multiple meals a day, random cravings. Like, have you ever? Do your parents have a child that's young or something that can help me make me understand this? And I feel like Jennifer's like, what make you understand? What you know? And I think it's a perfect date for her to get pregnant. Now that I think about it, I mean, it's egg hunting date. And when you think about it, you know, she's had pregnant with a kid, so that has Jennifer thinking like, what? She was like in the middle of trying to clean up, and she overheard that part, and she's gonna be like. You're pregnant? You're pregnant, girl. Are you serious? So she's gonna try to talk about the and discuss with her like, girl, that's a big commitment. Who's like, you know, is you and Ronnie? And she's like, girl, me and Ronnie ain't woohooing. What are you talking about? And she's like, well, didn't you woohoo him that one time? She's like, yeah, and I kept it that one time. And she's like, I want him and me to have a genuine relationship. I just don't want to add woohoo into the picture quickly. And Jennifer's like, oh, I could never. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's like at the because I feel like that's how she feels at the moment. Like she don't mind woohooing pretty early into a relationship versus I feel like she likes to take her time. I feel like this kind of will give Jen the idea that maybe since it's egg hunt day and she's hearing all about this kid stuff, that it would be the right time to contact her biological half sister. You know, the one that's with her stepmom, the evil stepmom. Yes, MC cheats summon so she's gonna be like hi dad can you tell bianca to come over since it's a holiday for her and bianca's like sure sure oh gumbo is still asleep i feel like she don't want her sister to know about him but at the same time she wouldn't care so i feel like because she's non committal right i feel like for her she feels like if family sees her hanging around him they're gonna think it's a serious relationship so she's just gonna tell gumbo to dip and you know if she passes him by like she wouldn't know that that's like he was with Jen, you know? She's just gonna assume that this is some random guy of God knows what he's doing around here, you know? So don't control, and then I'm just gonna tell him to go away after that. Jen is talking to her sister right now. She's just telling her a joking story like, oh, you know, have you heard of the guy who leaves smelly food in the lockers of school? Like, I'm sure he's at your school. She's like, yeah, he is. Oh my God, he's so old if he knows you. And like, that just kind of like, do the jokey joke type humor brought them together which i love for them you could see just you know brianna was kind of like you know you're pretty cool i think maybe my mom was kind of wrong about you she's like oh that's that means a lot and then i zoomed in and i'm like oh my god she got tats in her eyes i didn't even notice but yeah then i had to make some food together because i thought it was so perfect 
perfect for this holiday it's egg hunt day you're supposed to bake something and Jen is gonna cook a very special meal for her again she loves these childish holidays she's a childish sim and you know she's making almond macaroons now if there was like a favorite food for sims 4 I feel like that's Jen's food she's like oh you, you already finished girl she's like yes this dish is so special to me my mother used to make it Bye, Flower Bunny. <laughs> she seems to take on a liking. Flower Bunny, I love you. My whole childhood, you're just so amazing. You've always been in my life, and I just want you to... Oh, I love you too. Oh, the Flower Bunny is so sweet. Uh, I could have sworn there's like flower shower options and stuff. What? Flower Bunny finds her attractive? <laughs> Ignore Flower Bunny. Attractive? Not unattractive. She is not feeling this little bubble like you know, she kind of asks to ask to just be friends Yeah, the fact that popped up first for her now her changing the subject and Selena's like girl that creepy thing that was flirting with you. Just give me a massage. Don't worry about it I got you She's like, thanks girl. Thanks for like, taking me away from that flower bunny thing cuz I just wanted to be like a regular cool holiday with my sister like I didn't even realize it was flower bunny day and egg hog and sorry egg hunt and all that stuff so the fact of the matter is I was just trying to be polite you know I can't acquire crap bruh he lied he lied but why y'all got to lie I just hit an Ariana Grande note bitch he lied I feel like a fool. I believed you. Gumbo. I'm, I'm putting my hand in a fist and smacking my hand with other Like, dang. He tricked me. Y'all. Y'all. What did Russell Westbrook say about Patrick Beverly? He said he tricked y'all. That's what happened. Bruh. Bruh, I got tricked. So I am not one to judge like we are in weird situations in life, right? And I don't have the greatest relationship with my family like My parents, I just feel like Totally act like I don't exist. I used to try to get as good grades as I can when I was a little girl I tried everything but like the moment my brother was born it was like I'm just not there and it's not even a gender thing I just think it's like they baby him like they baby him more than they ever babied me I mean I don't know if I was ever babied I don't know but I just felt like I was special at one point in time and then all of a sudden it's it's not like that you know and now that I'm pregnant I guess it just makes me think of that like the times that you know when a new baby comes into the picture, like I think I might be scared. Like, what if I do that to my kid? And it's just, you know, Jennifer's like, well, girl, one good thing is that it's not your kid. You know, you don't have to worry about that aspect. That's not your kid. That's one great thing to remember about this whole situation is that, you know, it's just an experience. And it kind of also, like you said, it brought up these emotions for you. But, you know, with my family situation, it wasn't that when my sister came into the picture that they ignored me. It's more like her mother. Her mother is a witch. Like, she came into the picture and she just kind of distanced herself from me. And then she automatically got pregnant with my dad, where it was like, my dad introduces me to this lady and like, boom, she's pregnant two months later type thing like she literally came up out of nowhere my dad um you know he never introduced me into another lady obviously it was just my mom in the picture and all of a sudden now i have to like you know this lady and soon after into their relationship like again i was like 18 years old so that's when i was like let me move out into my own place like i was trying to make it look like dad let me respect your relationship type thing right so that i got my own place and then a couple of years later 
me and Alexa are chilling and uh, you know Alexa is like taking uh, I think like a six year program type thing for school and on her last year uh, that's when my dad was like oh, I don't know soon enough like he used to hint it to me like girl what are you doing what are you doing type thing and then eventually he cut me he cut me off and she's like that sucks I did not know you got cut off wow she's like is that why you kind of like do all this stuff like with the you know videos the streaming and occasional massages with clients or something i don't know and she's like i do all of that because i'm scared i'm gonna be homeless i want to make it out in the city i'm really scared and she's like you have nothing to be scared of look at me like i'm out here too i do not want to go back to my family house just like you i don't want to succumb to it ever being a reality and i want you to understand that you and me i never really understood you i thought you were just this snooty spready like biatch you know and you're not you're actually just you're human and i really i'm so sorry for having all these preconceived notions about you you know i get you I, I, and I see you. I feel bad about the whole sister thing. I'm assuming you became estranged because of her stank mama. And she was like, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it was nice chatting with you. Jen is relieved to share her truth. And now she's on her way to confront somebody, AKA Dallas Gamboa. Yes, we are gonna find out. Y'all, he does have an intense itching. Yeah, he definitely gave my girl that. He definitely did. So I feel like he's gonna try to commit himself to her. Like, let's see how it works out for her. Cause I don't know if she'd wanna be in a relationship after getting WTD from him, but we'll see. He's gonna be like, hey, I wanna be in a relationship with you if it's okay. I'm so sorry for effing around. And she's like, well, you did F around and now I don't wanna be with you. I'm sorry, we can't, we can't do this. I'm sorry, uh, I just, you're not honest with me, and I'll, all I want is honesty when it comes to you. So, I'm sorry, but I can't do this with you. Uh, I just, I'm sorry, Gamboa. Figure out your health, figure out all of that stuff. I don't know, I think it's better if we just be friends. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gamboa. So, maybe sometime in the future we might meet up again and get to talking but right now you were dishonest and he was like i didn't want to lose you that's why i wanted you to be my girlfriend she's like there's better ways you know you had multiple chances to be honest with me and you weren't so i can't i cannot with you so yeah they're they're pretty very awkward encounter oh he is not happy about this so she's just gonna right now give him the cold shoulder Oh lord, he's trying to do something. We ain't talking. I don't want to be your friend. No, we ain't smashing, obviously. I'm trying to just be your friend. Stop flirting with me. You're not going to win my heart over like that. All right. It was nice seeing you, though. But it was not really nice seeing you either. So, bye. He's like... <laughs> she was like, I am not taking the same path as him. I am weak. I just love her little walk. Oh wow, he thinks he's still he he thinks he can win her heart. Oh, he is funny. Oh, he thinks he's funny, y'all. I mean, he gave my girl a WTD. She don't want him. I think now is the time to confront Imani because that's the only sim she's woohooed with outside of Chet. So yeah, she's gonna be like, hey, Imani good morning love to talk if that's okay with you so she's gonna ask about her wtd hey. what's up with your health what's the tea you good she said i'm all clear no need to fear catching anything from me discuss future together okay yeah I'll let them flirt <laughs> So I think she's just gonna confess her attraction. Like, okay, I know we did that one time, woohoo, but I find you attractive. She's like, okay, and that's what you're saying, cause I, you just never really talk to me. A suggestive look, 
except she's like i i just they don't want to make it weird because we're neighbors so yeah she's gonna give her a hug and hopefully not real and then i can make y'all watch channel surf together yeah just check what's going on in the morning tv imani's really enjoying this popcorn what flavor is it kettle corn okay oh good morning dear you're up good morning oh wow trimester two you know i feel like she's definitely gonna have to explain herself to ronnie because i feel like ronnie really likes her and she kind of ghosted him <laughs> like i said my girls don't really know a lot about love you know and i feel like he really you know he liked her i could tell you that i mean he's patient with her hey ma'am you, you cooked gourmet this morning and she's trying to cook another meal girl what are you trying to cook though resume red bean pancake uh, I don't think Selena ate, so Selena can make that for herself. Oh, they were flirting. I don't know what they said, though. <laughs> She's talking to Ronnie. At this point, when I was recording, I was so confused. I'm like, did Jen invite him behind my back? Like, how did this guy enter the house? Sit down on a table, is talking to Jen while she's eating breakfast. I, I'm like, what? She, did, uh, she didn't even tell him she's pregnant. I was... Uh, I was really confused, honestly, but then I found out it was from the Basemental Gangs, and I'll give y'all an explanation about that later. And I'm assuming she's just like, hey, I haven't seen you in a long time type thing. Yeah, she doesn't know he's here yet. Oh my god. Not that she owes him much, but, you know, again, she did kind of ghost him. So... I feel like let's act like Jen sent Selena a text, right? She's let's act like she sent Selena a text. Okay, we'll be like, "Hey, Selena, you know he's here." And she's like, "Oh my God!" She's freaking out in the bathroom. <gasps> oh, no, that's not how I wanted to tell him. Pristine reputation, yo. How did she do that? Oh my God. She's like. You know what she's gonna do? She's like, hey Ronnie. He's like, hey. I don't think he even saw her. A suggestive look. Selena got it, the suggestive look. Round. Ignore him. She's literally with Imani. Don't be a weirdo. Y'all, I'm doing a voiceover, but it just hit me. So he came to the house because of basemental gangs. So basemental gangs, long story short, they like to do robbery machines and all these crazy stuff so you're supposed to you know get your money and stuff so i think he was trying to be super flirty with her to get away with it because he did not do nothing he said he barely got out of it alive and he doesn't have a single dollar to give her that's why he was here not because of monica maybe low-key to check on monica because you know why did she ghost him but it was more about basemental ginks what's going on did he not give her her money? Oh, he didn't do it. Okay, so I could reprimand him, yell at him, or give a beating. So I don't think she's um, violent. I feel like Judd would do that. Maybe if Judd comes by, let's try to have Judd to give him a beating. MC cheats. Summon. Actions. Control. Yeah, Judd was the one with the illness. Trying to hide from the girl. Like, what is wrong with these trifling dudes? I told did I not say the F-boys are reporting to the floor? Did I not say that in my tweet? Anyway, I'm gonna have him reprimand him by a beating. So I'm gonna have actions. Add to group. First, she's gonna reprimand him. He's gonna come upstairs. So she's like, like, I don't care what could have happened. Okay, I, I trusted you. I told you you weren't carrying your weight. He's like, I, you, you think I didn't want to? I'm telling you, they were gonna K-word me or you want money. She's like, I don't care. Go back and get some stuff for me. And then he's just like, oh, okay. he's gonna shout for bitter words because he's gonna find out. So let's have him cuss at him. Get your effing job done. Okay. Like, whoa, bro, relax. Uh, and she's like, look, you see what we're both trying to come from now? I don't think we want to repeat ourselves because next time it might get bad. And Ronnie's like, I'm stronger than both of y'all. 
Y'all can't do shit. She's like, well, we're going to take turns, okay? I'm not trying to be rude. He's trying to flirt with Selena. Oh, this guy. He really is trying to get out of it by flirting. She's like, these of you, he think he can flirt his way out of it. <laughs> That's the face she's giving him. So I think he's going to talk to him about the Simkuza history. He's going to be like, look, we don't play these games in with the Simkuza. And listen, we got to do some work. She's like, do you not see what I do? I literally have to plan. I have to be strategic. I don't want to just sit around here on my ASS all day. And he's like, okay, if that's the case, then continue what you're doing. She's like, listen, you've been actually so preoccupied with your girlfriend. Your little girlfriend got you so distracted. You can't even do your work like that. She's like, oh, y'all st y'all still selling them purses? The girls in the background, they're like, yeah, of course. That's what we're talking about, purses. So she's gonna be like, okay, they're kind of suspicious of you, so just leave. Hmm? She not really feeling her, and I think it's because she felt like she was eavesdropping on her conversation with Jed. Like, you talk a lot, you know, when my business associates are here, please don't ask about what we're doing and all that and updates. Okay, she's like, what? That's just casual conversation. I, I kid you not, I am not trying to get pry on your personal life come on like how many stuff do i have going on do i tell you what i'm up to she's gonna end it right there she's like hey jen nice seeing you nice talking to you so right now a little update okay i was kind of record not recording but she got a text from Rua, who's the landlord, and he goes, Don't you ever get tired? You've been running through my mind all day. She is drunk right now, so she's probably going to be like, uh, Oh my god, that was so romantic. Can you come over? Like that. If they're, if she's, is she naked? Why is she naked? What a strange lady. Wear some clothes. I know she's in the pajama mood, so I'm going to let her stay in pajamas, but... Yeah, I don't understand, y'all, why everybody is so into making cakes. I don't know if it's like a glitch in the game or something with the save, because... She's like, hey, I am so drunk. I just hear so romantic. So she's definitely woohooing him. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, she is... She just has this thing for Rua, like, look... Finds him attractive. He's just that bad boy energy for her. She really likes him. Akai is the same thing, but like, like I said, they find each other pretentious. They just don't realize that they actually have a lot more in common. Ooh, while well, they're under the bed. She's like, Selena, like, you have not changed out of your clothes. What's going on? She's like, girl, I've been crying in bed like some moment. I came home. I don't think I'm feeling that great. She's like, girl, just take a bath right now. So she's going to tell her to take a, a bath with soaks. And it could be a rose petal. She's like, girl, put roses in there. You're going to feel pretty. Her daddy calling her. If you have haters, you must be doing something right. That's all I'm saying. You know, oddly enough, I feel like that was a good text for her to get, especially because of that whole wife's thingy going on earlier. So, she's like, you want to stay over the night? I don't think she really knows he's married to Judith like that. Like, or like, you know, she doesn't, like, Judith's old in the save. So, think of it like an old actor. You just don't really know them, you know? So, so he's staying over the night. Y'all, yeah, so this client bought something and now it's Penny Penny's turn. So she don't have no baby. She's in a much better place. So <laughs> I'm gonna go give her what she wants. I guess so. Y'all, guess who came back? What is going on? Let's see if he did his job because stop talking to Jennifer. Since you was too oh, 12,000. You know. And seven. Oh, he not only delivered, he did. I have to call Jed and give him some money too. 12,679. Should do 6,000 and then give the rest to Jed. And he handles it to the people. Cause she was bossing him around. So it's only fair she gets the bigger cut. Hey, come through. I got your money. Okay. 
again this morning he literally passed by her he was looking at the floor and i take that as him not taking that seriously enough for my liking she's definitely proud like he really pulled through they were telling him pull your weight they were yelling at him they were telling him we're gonna beat you up blah da, da, da you know so i'm gonna have him go here so that he could see selena and let's see his reaction he doesn't really have any thoughts maybe he should compliment her like hey beautiful and then let's see if he finds out that she's pregnant hey whoa what's up with the belly you, you're pretty but i don't try to uh, shame you or anything and she's like uh, i'm cooking right now but she's like nervous like she's like nervous like oh my god uh uh it says apologize about crankiness but i'm gonna take it as apologize for ghosting yeah. she's like look i'm sorry that i didn't talk to you I, I just wanted to talk to you after this whole thing like i really needed the money for the pregnancy the family was offering me a good amount of money and honestly it was also for a good cause i'm helping them and they said that i'm making them more happier than they ever thought they could be Please don't take it to heart. Let's see if he take he accepts it though, cause it's all on him really, cause it's he got ghosted. He's like he's thinking of her. He's like okay, okay. I I don't know what to say and think about because obviously it's your choice in your body, and we don't really have a super intimate relationship like that. I do wish uh -huh. you told me you didn't hide from me obviously because you probably would have been surprised by my reaction you didn't you didn't even give me a chance to react you just thought it, you know let me talk to him when i have the baby and that's not right okay her stuff man i'm developing a whole habit i'll go over okay where's ruba ruba go to sleep you go to sleep Oh, they're eating right next to each other. Oh, he is liking that almond macaroon. She's a little insecure. She's kind of like, maybe I overthought that part. I should have been more honest with him. So she's just going to ask him for advice. Like, if you were in a situation like this, would you tell me automatically? Just be honest with me, you know? And... He's gonna be like, I'll, I would never be in a situation like this. She's like, well, well, like, imagine you were, you know, imagine. And he's like, okay, like, if I imagined, um, I probably wouldn't, especially if I feel like I'm helping somebody. I guess I would have told you, especially because I feel like our relationship or whatever we have going on, because we're not really in a relationship, but like our situation, let's say that. Uh, she's like, I'm happy you're honest, because. <sighs> It's not something easy for me to tell you. Obviously, I didn't even tell my parents I'm doing this. Could you imagine? You know, and he's like, I, I don't even talk to my own family, so I could imagine. Ah, oh, she feels like he gave her good advice. So I think he's saying that, listen, like, I ain't going to judge you for your life choices. But let's just communicate. And she's like, that's a great idea. <laughs> oh, he's just making her jokes. Wow. <laughs> You know, Ronnie a little bad boy, though he's still trying to flirt with Selena, so... I think Ronnie's gonna try to woohoo her. If she accepts, that's all on her, really. So let's see if he does, if she accepts it. Like, again, that's all on her. It's her. He's gonna ask. If she says, okay, let's woohoo, then, you know, because I feel like she's kind of like... Girl, say no! Stand up! How do you hoes act like if you ain't in no relationship, you gonna die? Y'all be weak in the knees. Stand up! Stand up! <laughs> no! Oh, she's doing the little waddle as she's third trimester, y'all. No, she's still in second. Okay. Oh! And she has birth control. Aww. Look at her being safe. Look at this. Again, I don't know, Rue is hot to me, so, I mean, I get it, you know. Oh, they're out of here. So, I think she's gonna be like, look, I don't want nobody to know what we did. Obviously, like, I told our my surrogate people, I don't, I'm not in a relationship or anything. 
I just have to let you go. So just speak uh -huh. out. Don't tell nobody yes. what happened between us. Oh my gosh, she could text the future's parents the progress? Let's do that. Yeah, I thought she just had to be alone. <gasps> Oh, she's still asking this dumb question. At this point, Selena's kind of annoyed. She's like, no, I don't think pregnancies are good. They're, they they change your body. Hey, mom, you're getting older. It's probably going to be worse. I don't care. Leave me alone. Aww. So Monica just came back from her shift and the family's basically like, oh, like, thank you for checking upon us. We would love to see you and how you're doing. Can we stop by? So here's Miss Angel Kruger and her husband, Darren Kruger, who are going to check up on Monica. Oh, well, looks like she's here and so is her husband. Uh, Pregnancy is going problem. well. I think it's just me personally that's not as well. Believe this is really I hard. Yeah. They're like, you know, you're doing so amazing for us. <laughs> Y'all see her? She's like, oh, it's going on here. She's gagged. Okay, so she's just gonna. Cause she apparently is a mess too. But oh well. I'm gonna have her try to just look at them from a distance. You know? Right now, see, they look like ordinary people just conversing, right? Just cute. She, well, she'd look at the window like pretend 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 he's like look i am so happy for my wife and i you know i already have one kid i know how much she wanted another kid and she was like <laughs> yeah now she realized they're here Guys, she's like what what the fudge what the fudge she is so gagged. <laughs> Monica's like, girl, what's going on? Why are you so shook? She's just gonna tell Monica, like, bro, that's my boss. That's my boss. Are you serious? You were pregnant with my boss's baby. Bruh. Angel's gonna be like, uh, you know this lady? You know this young lady? And she's like, yeah, well, she's my roommate. And she's like, hmm, interesting. What were the odds? I should have maybe asked about your living arrangement. She was like, I, I didn't think that was important. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, my girl is fried. And he's like, what's, why, why do you feel different? You seem different. She's saying, like, uh, I just could give a fuck that y'all were trying to have a baby or anything. It's just the fact that it was with my roommate. She's very mellowed out. Oh lord, she's probably gonna smoke a joint after this again. Angel's like, honey, you don't realize. I think she's doing what the kids do. You know them drug stuff. And he's like, <laughs> she's just like kind of, kind of calmly trying to tell him. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Don't flirt with her in front of your wife, bro. She like this is my boss girl oh, no. this is that my is boss so awesome. she's like what the f what are the odds that that was your boss what are the odds that was your boss that i'm pregnant with his baby and his wife like i'm so sorry girl what i told her she was gonna do it but you're gonna do it right in front of your boss are you normal the girl definitely gave her like a a blow kiss that felt like it was like a threat like like perhaps angel knew and she was fighting with her on purpose like that's the energy it gave at least to me alexa's like look i gotta go and then angel's gonna go to alexa and she has something to say so angel has something to tell alexa Monica's like, wait one second, y'all have to go to the bathroom. I'll be back, y'all. I promise. But she's actually going to her bedroom to go take a nap for a bit. <laughs> New set. She's like, hey, you see? You see what you do? You don't mess with my family because I'm going to F you up. This is just a light gesture making you creeped out that I got your, you know, thingy pregnant. You know, I knew who she was. But I thought it was a coincidence. And that's what I'm doing, you know? Just don't mess with me. Don't mess with my family, okay? She's like, what? You, you did that on purpose? How dare you? 
And you know, Alexa don't like to fight again. She really does care about her career, but she don't go work late with threats. You could see the face she made. It's bring it on, 3,000. I just added that man. Sound effects. No, I'm saying the girls are fighting over me. The girls are fine. He's thinking. I think he might like Alexa more than his wife. She's like, what? what what's going on in here? Oh, no, no, not a re not a fight again. This old. <laughs> she said, I'm swinging. Are under them. I'm on recording. I am okay. B. I'm sorry. I, I just downloaded this one. Oh. 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 Jen's like my bestie. What's going on? He's like my coworker and wife. But Alexa kind of hot. That's what I'm giving. That's what he's giving, right? What do y'all think? Oh. Not Alexa beating her two times. Yo. Monica's asleep. She's so tired. She don't give a f about the f -ry. All right, y'all. Are you serious? Why is that red stream? Oh, bitch! Somebody, take care of yourself. Are you going to clean up after this stream? I'm noticing that the house is dirty. Oh, that's embarrassing. Why are you doing that? The stream where people know it's... I didn't know the stream was on. How old are you? You're really smart, Jen. Jen's gonna be... You know that if you fight on stream, you're gonna be banned. Yo, there better not be a fourth ah! one. That's too much. Oh, she is swinging. Oh, oh she won one round. She's gonna go. She's gonna tell her to leave. Should I get the F out of my apartment? Cannot believe you think that you could start BS with me. And she's like, huh. You better know. I am Angel Mother Effin Kruger. Okay, you don't mess with me. Okay. And she's gonna tell her husband, like, you need to leave. What's like, I gonna do? Just, just go away. So yeah, she's gonna be like, you need to leave. Actions don't control. Yeah, no, they need to leave. I know she's gonna be like, girl, what's the tea? Like, Bruh. So she's gonna try to discuss with her, like, girl, what did I just witness? Because I had to turn my stream off. Like, I could be banned for this. Like, you you know, I kind of need to make money with the streaming stuff, you know? And the fact of the matter is, that is some dangerous stuff you were involved in. Like, was it worth it? To fight that lady? Like, there's a chance he could fire you. You already got demoted, Alexa. Alex, that wasn't a smart idea. Okay. She's like, girl, don't worry. He told me that I'm his fave. She's like, well, his wife is going to always be his number one. And trust me, I know that the hard way. She's like, don't project your situations on me. Okay? So she's going to say that to her. Don't project your situations on me. Obviously, like I said, these girls don't know nothing about good advice in life they're gonna make dumb mistakes she's really trying to say it as gently as possible too i feel so bad she's like I, I i receive it but don't project your situations on me that is you thing not me okay i hope you heard me when i say it she's like oh i was just trying to give you advice f that like it's not worth it so i guess maybe she feels slightly regretful like that gives a little regretful of a face right like maybe you were right i should be more careful i, I could lose my job like what am i gonna do next if i don't have my job you know so sh she's like yeah i mean uh -huh. you gonna learn the hard way you start messing around with the boss's wife like that again now it's one thing to mess with him but his wife you know she's gonna be like girl what is wrong with you why would you allow yourself to be in a situation with the Krugers? She's like, I don't know your situation with them. 
Okay, first of all, she is stunning. Like, look at this pregnancy on her. She looks so beautiful. <laughs> I was so distracted. She looks so good pregnant. Okay, anyway. Um, she's like, you're, you're telling me there's no way. She never hinted at you that she knew of my existence. Nothing about science, career, nothing. She's like, I swear to you, not a goddamn thing. She just told me she wanted to have a baby and that her and her husband are expanding on the next chapter. She did say that to me. Something about expanding in the next chapter. And the fact... Do you think she was... There's no way. How long has she been lurking on me? He's like, well, this woman sounds like she has a vendetta against you, and you need to, like, I don't know what to do. Talk to her husband like you said you wanted to. She was like, talk to him, and what? What are you going to do for me at this point? Because now that I think about it, like, Jen said that he might fire me, he might do this, he might do that. Here, I thought I was his fave and all this stuff, but I think about it, like, married people do pick each other over each other. And I'm not saying I know how I know, obviously, her parents, y'all, because her parents picked each other before her. So she kind of was like, you know, she kind of forgot that aspect, you know, of marriage. Even though, like, yes, she's experienced it firsthand with her parents. But, like, at the same time, she never really respected marriages. And I feel like now... Hmm, I wonder how that's gonna make it with her and Rua. I feel like maybe she's gonna ask him to break up with his wife. We'll see where that goes, but I feel like she's learned her lesson and she's gonna be like, look, I need to call them over. They definitely wanna check on their baby and everything. Like, I'm sorry, I know it's a mess, but you could just stay in your room, go to bed or whatever, go out in the day or something, you know? And she's like, I guess I gotta do that. I, ha I, I don't wanna mess your bag up. And I hope they don't deduct you for, you know. And she's like, no, 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 don't worry about that. She's like, okay, cool. It was nice chatting with you, girl. It was nice chatting with you. Oh my gosh, Samisha looks pretty today, y'all. It's a sunny day out here. Wow, looks good. Not only that, the shadows in her room make it so good. Yes, finally, finally, finally. Look how happy she is. She's like, 420 day. I am in labor. I get to try something after this shit. <laughs> She's like, girl, I'm pregnant, y'all. I am in labor now. You know? So she's definitely going to the hospital. She's so cute. She is so cute. Oh my god. She's like, I don't even know if I'm ready for this. She's giving a very insecure, worried face. She's having the baby. I don't think I'm allowed to name the baby either, right? So it's their baby. I don't know. I wonder if she'll have a relationship with the baby. I'm so curious. I know the ladies are like gagging like, oh my God, she's having this baby. It's a boy. Uh... I guess they're gonna name him Jeremy Kruger. No, no. She ended up having twins. Jeremy and Magnus, no. Let's try to make it cute. Jeremy, Damien, Corey. Okay, I like it. Corey and uh, Jeremy, I think was it. Jeremy and Corey. Oh, I was about to give him the fa her family name. Okay, so it is Kruger. Okay. Okay, the babies are here. What do I do, y'all? She's like, woo, I did that. Okay, so, all right, y'all, I'm about to send the babies back to their families. My bad. So I had to click on the baby. Okay, but they're crying, so I don't know if she's allowed to breastfeed them. Let's just breastfeed them this one last time, and then she can dip and send them to their parents. Jeremy and Corey, y'all. Can't believe it. Okay, I can't go. I wish I could go, but send... Wow. That is truly, truly so special of a moment. She's so much happier that she gave up the baby. Do you guys not see that smile? I miss seeing that smile on her. Feels like she was pregnant forever. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I said, I believe it's the longest pregnancy. <laughs> Again, I think it probably feels longer when it's not your Sims child. 
but she helped the Kruger so Aww. much. Oh, that's so sweet of her. Honestly, um, I'm gonna send right now the Aww. babies. Decide, no, send surrogate child to parents. Aww. Thank you for what yeah. you've done for us. We're so happy to meet our child. Alternative Aww. pregnancy. Decide Aww. to keep child, send parents. No, send parent. Oh my heart. She sent both babies away. So that's about it for this video, y'all. I am so sorry if it was long, but it I literally filmed this for three hours long of gameplay. Like this pregnancy was so long, okay? I was trying to let this time fly as quick as it can. But there was a lot of drama. There's the whole Jen and dallas not you know doing anything with each other anymore the gaslighting manipulation and all that woo and then judd doing it too oh my god i mean at least imani is very honest and her and selena who knows they they kind of have something cute going on like off camera they went on a date together and it was cute but you know imani do like the coca-cola and she was going in the bathroom doing that sniffs okay so i mean i don't know if long term like i know my girl does the you know plants let's say but like she does it for her base mental aspiration I'm not gonna lie she might actually do a lot more than that so i'm just trying to explore that aspiration because i've never tried it before you know let's chat in the comments because i want to know your thoughts i know there was a lot going on and i want to know your opinions like was angel krueger a little too manipulative and weird for doing that like who does that i felt like it was weird af like get revenge another way shame me and slut shame me at work okay don't <laughs> If get my friend pregnant just to do some weird you know jedi mind tricks or something like mm -mm, that's a little too weird like the name is angel but none of it is angelic you know so that's my personal opinion on miss angel krueger she does have her little baby so i think she'll back off from alexa and alexa ain't even into darren like darren is not worth all that hassle somebody tell angel for me because he's not worth it and, and the reason why I say is because he's cheating on her. Like, at least if he honored his wife and made her feel good. But then again, would she be doing any of that to begin with? Mm -hmm. I thought so. See, she's about to get me to sympathize with her. And I'm not. <laughs> but that's my opinions. I want to hear your beautiful opinions. Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button. And subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I wish you a lovely, lovely 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 and i say it like 10 times because i really believe it i want you to have a lovely day take care